Earlier this month, I spent some time in Taiwan where I visited a company called Pishong, which makes electric bikes, electric scooters, and motorized chairs. But now the company is getting into electric cars. But if electrics are ever going to catch on in a big way, something has to be done about the amount of time it takes to recharge them. Even with a level three charger, the fastest type that's available today, it still takes at least half an hour to recharge the batteries. But the head of Pishong says he has the solution. Meet Donald Wu, the owner of the Pishong Motor Machinery Company. They make electric bicycles, scooters, and motorized chairs, so they're heavily involved with all kinds of battery technology. And now they're getting into electric cars. They've partnered with a French company called Microcar because Donald Wu says he's come up with a battery that can be recharged in less than five minutes. Specifically, he says it can be recharged in four minutes and that you can discharge and recharge it 30,000 times before the battery degrades, so it'll last a long time. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery, not lithium ion, and that's the secret to its longevity. I got to drive a micro car with this battery technology and it seems to work quite well. While these cars are really for low speed limit roads, it had adequate acceleration off the line and an acceptable cruising speed of about 40 miles an hour. No word yet on what these electric micro cars will cost when they come to market. But if Donald Wu has truly come up with a battery that can be recharged in four minutes, he's probably going to end up selling a lot more batteries than cars. The Pishang Electric is really for low speed driving. In the US, it would probably be limited to driving on restricted roads or on public roads with speed limits of no more than 25 miles an hour. What if we always settled for the first thing that came along? Then we'd never have gotten here. Introducing the Sonata Hybrid from Hyundai.